nothing could have prepared us for the chaos of the global financial crisis or Ireland's swift decline. As the market turned, mortgages began to show distress. Shops were laying off staff and closing down, unable to pay rents. So it, there was devastation right across the sector. Around September, October 2010, this was a banking system that was having a cardiac arrest. Banks were unable to finance themselves and it was clear that something had to be done. It was a, a classic moment for appealing to the IMF for financial assistance. They captured the confidence of the nation and people said, oh, these guys are actually, they are here to help us. The most important thing that needed to be done was to stabilize the banks. So the first thing was to figure out which banks are in trouble and which aren't. Close the banks that are in trouble. We did various reviews of the banks, of their asset quality, and ultimately there were a series of recapitalizations of the banks. It made an enormous amount of difference that the IMF was supervising it because they were viewed as being independent. They had a depth of knowledge that was not available to us elsewhere, so I think that was by far the strongest thing they brought to the party and very useful for us. The IMF had a very positive role in confidence building in Ireland. Ireland is one of 52 countries we helped during the global financial crisis. This past year, we provided financing to 30 countries to help surmount crises, aid reforms and spur growth. More often, countries simply want advice on monetary or fiscal policy. In a single generation, Vietnam has moved from being one of the world's poorest nations to middle income status. Tôi nghĩ cái chính là cái quyết định của nhà nước Việt Nam là đổi mới, có nghĩa là từ một cái nền kinh tế kế hoạch hóa tập trung và chuyển sang cơ chế thị trường. Close cooperation between Vietnam and the IMF on macroeconomic policies have helped achieve economic stability, a foundation for foreign investment and broad-based growth. Và cái việc mà IMF mà cung cấp các cái hỗ trợ về kỹ thuật để mà tăng cường đào tạo rồi là hỗ trợ cho các cái cán bộ của nhiều cơ quan chính của Việt Nam. Before we are very close economy, now we become the most open economy in the world in terms of trade and FDI. The driving forces behind all Vietnam's economic reform success lies in the effort to integrate into the world economy. The operation here is really extraordinary. The total investment is around 17.5 billion US dollars. We employ a huge number of the people all together 160,000 workers. Đề cập đến cái mối quan hệ của Việt Nam và IMF thì phải khẳng định đây là một cái mối quan hệ truyền thống lâu dài, chặt chẽ và hiệu quả. If Vietnam can maintain the macroeconomic stability it has achieved, the country has a chance to match the performance of the most successful Asian tiger countries. In many cases Countries want more hands-on assistance with reforms or help training civil servants. In 2017, IMF staff worked closely with public officials in more than 180 countries on issues that matter to them. La economía colombiana recibió un choque muy importante en términos de intercambio, especialmente a partir de la segunda mitad de 2014, por la caída de los precios del petróleo. El impacto que recibió la economía colombiana es el más grande desde la Gran Depresión de los años 30 del siglo pasado. Y a pesar de esa situación, la economía colombiana pudo seguir creciendo positivamente. Y esto tiene mucho que ver con el Fondo Monetario Internacional, porque Colombia se movió a un, esque a un esquema de flotación cambiaria gracias a un acompañamiento que tuvo el Fondo Monetario. La otra parte de la ecuación es la ecuación fiscal. El gobierno hizo una primera reforma tributaria tan pronto, muy temprano, cuando empezamos a sentir el choque en 2014. Fue muy útil la interacción constante con el Fondo Monetario Internacional. Logramos reunir los recursos necesarios para consolidar las finanzas públicas de Colombia en el mediano plazo. 
By consolidating its public finances, the Colombian government was able to move forward with peace negotiations to end a 52-year-old civil war. The Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize for 2016 to Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos. Yo creo que se abren unos nuevos horizontes para el país. Eh, sitios a donde no se podía llegar, ahora se visitan. Nosotros creemos que aquí puede haber una segunda oportunidad para volver a crecer caficultura y volver a ser, a través de la caficultura, un desarrollo en esas áreas que hoy las necesitan. Con el fin del conflicto ya empezamos a ver los primeros efectos de la paz. So this is a very steady and sustained recovery. It's a bounce back. Việt Nam đã rất là mong muốn là tiếp tục nhận được cái sự hỗ trợ của IMF trong cái quá trình phát triển kinh tế của mình. El Fondo Monetario Internacional siempre apoyó al gobierno colombiano para el bienestar de los colombianos.